one. Afternoon, Anne. Hi, how are you doing? I'm all right. Yes. I'm all right. It's a bit warm, isn't it? It is a bit warm. It's good to be back, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, it is very good. I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, okay. Because I got to plan the craft today. Yep. Helen's I craft today. The craft. And surprisingly, oh. not too messy. Normally, when you choose, it's really messy. I know. It's really, this was really quite. I think the next one might be messy, though. Okay. Yeah. You have to wait. Have to wait and see for that one. But this one's really good. Very simple, but really, really pretty as well. And something that you can keep using. Mm. So, um, because we're talking about Jesus and healing, aren't we, today? Yeah, we're talking about some of the things Jesus did. We talked about his parables, parables a little while ago. And now we're talking about the things that Jesus actually did. And so we're mm. on the healing. The story of him Because Jesus often, girl. when you talk about Jesus healing, they often talk about him laying on his hands. So yep. we're going to talk about healing hands aren't we and that's yep. what we're going to make in our craft today we're going yep. to make a healing, healing hand Sh shall we do that let's do that okay so very simple today you need three pieces of paper two different colors now Anne and i chose our colors and matched hers beautiful aren't they red and orange i went for two bright ones but two pieces of paper any color uh, just different colours. Okay. That's all you need. Yep, I've got two. One's just going to be a background. So decide which is the background and leave that one under there. And then you can put the other one on top for now. And then another piece. Now, Anne very kindly brought this pretty paper, but I think this looks like a small piece of wrapping paper, really. Very small present, isn't yeah. it? Maybe so, I, I, maybe I've got it for your Christmas present maybe, this year. Oh, no, I want a big bit of wrapping paper. Oh, OK. I thought you might. Yeah. What a big present. OK. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> Um, anyway, get back to the craft, Dan. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm leading it today and you're interrupting me. I'll stop. <laughs> so what I, the reason I was telling you that, everybody, is because you could use a bit of wrapping paper and something else that might be really nice is a piece of brown paper or something. It really doesn't matter what colour you use because this bit's going to be used to draw a cross on because we're making Jesus's healing hands. So put that pretty bit of paper, your wrapping paper or your bit of paper to, to the side for a moment. And all we're going to do is put our hands, and I've got big hands, so I need a big bit of paper, on there. Okay, I've get done a, that. Pen, a pen. Got a pen. And draw around it. Now, isn't it interesting? Because I'm left handed, I've put my right hand down. Because you're right handed, handed you put, put your left, left hand down. down. Doesn't matter which way round you do it. So draw with your dominant hand, the hand you'd normally do your writing with. And put your other hand flat on the table. <laughs> and I'm not going to draw around my rings because that uh, that will just get in the way, I think. I'll fill that bit in in a minute, Anne. See, because you're not giving the instructions today, you're quicker than me. I hope you're doing this properly. Is so that all right? I hope you're not rushing it. That's not bad. I Sorry, think probably Miss. everyone will be... Uh, I'd like to point in that you do interrupt most of the time. I know I do, which is why it was fun to tell you off for interrupting, because you never tell me off for interrupting. Right, I'm nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. I've missed that a little bit because of my ring, so I'm just going to fill that bit in there. I've, like I went around mine. Mine are a bit bumpy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Sam looks like she's got a fat finger. Yeah, well, I've got very fat fingers. Okay, so, so very simply, I think you extended your wrist a little bit, yeah. didn't you? I shall do that. I avoided my bracelet, so. Okay, and now all you need to do is cut out your hand. If you haven't got a big bit of paper and you've got a little brother or sister, no, you, you could use their, hand, use their hand. And just make sure you take their hand off before you cut it out. And if you wanted a bigger hand, because you had a bigger bit of paper, you could ask one of your parents or your carer to uh to um put their hand down for you it doesn't really matter well, if you're struggling to do it with your own hand then um then use somebody else's that's what i say it's a bit fiddly isn't it it is a bit fiddly oh and now i've thrown the glue on the floor oh, i think we need a bigger table bigger table for our craft do you imagine the mess we could make with a bigger table yeah Think, think of all the glitter you could get onto a bigger table. Do you know, you could. There's no reason why you couldn't make your... I know we're not going to do it today because of time. But you really could decorate your hand. You could colour it in. You could join the nails and the rings. Couldn't you? you could put some really quirky nail varnish on your hands if you wanted to. You could just 
just make your hand as pretty as you want it to be. Um, you could do some nice henna tattoos. Uh, do you know, things. isn't that funny? I was just going to say that. Yes, yeah, some hand henna tattoos. You could, uh, have you seen those or you've been somewhere where you've had a, a henna tattoo, something like that. I know my daughters used to love those when they were young. My fingers are getting in the way. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, so we're going to be uh, telling the story in a minute. And, and these hands then, these healing hands, will, um, will all make sense when we tell the story of a little girl who doesn't have a name, but we know the name of her dad, don't we? Her dad's name is Jairus. Is that how you pronounce it? I think that's a reasonable yeah. pronunciation. Jairus, I think. Sometimes Bible names, we're not really sure how to pronounce them, are they? Because no. we don't we don't actually know how they might have pronounced them. So uh, it doesn't matter if you get it wrong. There's my hand. Oh, I might just... I've got very knobbly fingers. I didn't realise my fingers have got that knobbly. Oh, I didn't sort of cut out precisely, I have to say. Oh, you see, I've been trying to be very precise because Anne always tells me off for rushing. And uh, Anne's just picked up the glue, thankfully. So do I just stick it? I could, oh, see, I could be a left hand or a right hand. Right, yes, you could. So <laughs> actually, if you've got, if you've done it in pen like we have because we couldn't find a pencil... You could put the one with the pen marks down so that you can't see the the extra pen marks and then you'll just have a nice clear hand with no writing on it. I think this yeah. glue is virtually gone. I'm afraid it's a bit of a... You think you can... Uh, there's just is there a, enough I just think, for us to get I our think hands? So. I think well, there's just enough. There we are. Floor. There you, you may are. have to adjust... Uh, there you are. Not... Now, which is my... Oh, there we are. That's my... Um, Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, we're very close to the end, aren't we? So what am I doing now? So hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm just going to check that everyone at home is keeping up with us. So we've cut out our hand. It's bigger than my hand. Of course it's bigger than your hand. Put your, it put your left hand on my hand, Anne, and see what to... Look at that, everybody. How different our hand sizes are. And then I'll put my hand... On yours. Oh goodness me! Feels like I've got an extra finger there. Should be good at playing that. the piano then. Oh, I, don't I have very little hands. I'm not Play. very musical. Right. So turn this over. Okay. And you could do a nice cross that fits in the palm of your hand. So you want one no bigger than the palm of your hand, and you can either measure it on on here, or you could measure it on your actual hand. But fit a cross into the palm of your hand it might help to do a little uh, outline first and then just cut out some corners so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh there we go that that fits nicely on there oh oh you're doing yours differently to me well i i didn't think i was going to be able to make a cross cross very t tidily so i thought if i just cut a strip do you know, why does Anne come up with all the best ideas? I'm going to do exactly the same now, Anne. And then you can just yeah, yeah, cross right. it. And... I think Anne's way is easier. But if you're a good drawer, yep. you could draw a whole cross. Yep, I'm absolutely. getting the glue first this time. Okay, that's fine. In but case I... we all run out and we can't stick it down. There we go. It does stick down. So there we are. So one for that way and then a slightly shorter one like yep. you've done there. There you go. I think I've left you just enough. Oh. You might have to scrape a bit out with your nail or something. There. So, that's like Jesus' hands with the cross on the palm here. Because in our story, we'll hear about how Jesus uses his hands for love and for healing. So, if you can picture this hand here with a cross down the middle, that's like healing hands. So we can use that to write names of people who need healing. So okay. you might know people that are sick at the moment. You might know people that are um, that, that need some healing prayers. So what we're going to do with our prayers, and you might want to do it in pen or in pencil, you can add to them. You can even tick them when they've been healed mm. or when they've got better or um, when you find out what's happened. 
and um, you can write their names on here. Okay, so, so I we're going to use them later. Yeah, we Brilliant. are. We're going to use these in the prayers at the end. And you can write on the hand or you can write around the hand. Mm. There's plenty of room there. And they look lovely on a wall so that you'll remember those people as you heal them. Absolutely. They're not bad, are they? Healing hands. Healing hands, yes. Well, they look good, don't they? I love them, Anne. Absolutely love them. We're going to come back to those in our prayers, aren't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. I think they're really good and really quite simple, but lovely and straightforward. So you can do and them you can use two. any paper. Yeah, absolutely. Any paper. So, shall we do the... <gasps> Please. The story. I love this story. This is one of my favourite stories. I think I say that every week. I think you do. Actually. I like You're this almost one, as bad as me when I read a Bible verse. I go, well, that's one of my favourites. One of my favourites. Anyway, this one's called Time to Get Up. Yep. Jesus, help me, Jesus! My daughter is dying. Jairus shouted as loud as he could. And Jairus is her dad. Yes, he? yeah, absolutely. We talked about that during the crowd. Yeah, and the crowd parted. She's only 12, he explained, and she's so ill. But I know I can count on you to make her well. Please come. Jesus nodded and said, show me the way. But the minute he started wading through the crowd, Jesus stopped. Someone touched me, he whispered. But there was a big crowd around him. I know. Of course somebody touched him. Yeah, I always think it's strange, but Jesus noticed that somebody touched him. And actually, Jesus' disciples said to him, well, how can you tell? They said the same as us. That? Exactly. How can you tell? And he said, no, somebody here is very sick and they have touched me. And God has made them well and I can feel that power rush out of me. Now, who is it? There was a woman there and she was really ill. She'd been really ill for so long and she said, it was me. I've been sick for so long, but I knew if I just touched you, I would be healed. Jesus. That was really brave of her, wasn't Absolutely. it? Admitting yeah. that in a big crowd. Yeah. Especially yeah. when he was rushing off to see her. I know Ill how he would girl. react. And Jesus said, that's all right. You trusted me and you are well. And she went off and she was healed. And so... He wasn't expecting to heal her, but he did just by her touching him. So this was on the way this to Jairus' house? This was on the way, yes. Yeah. Gosh. And then all of a sudden, one of Jairus' servants turned up and said, I'm really sorry, your daughter's died. No. I know. But Jesus said, no, I'm still coming. It'll be all right. And so they did hurry off in the end. When they arrived, there was another crowd outside Jairus' house and there was weeping and a wailing and there was a lot of noise. And Jesus said, there's no need to cry. She's not dead, she's just asleep. Well, and then there was angry laughter and sneering and they thought he was really strange and mad. They said, we have seen her, she's dead. Because people would have been used to death. Yeah. I mean, they didn't have antibiotics and vaccinations back no, then no. did they so they would have known no, no, about death no but jesus ignored them all and he just took the little girl's parents mother and father and peter and james and john and he, he put his best, friends. his best friends were, remember when we did the calling and he called for his friends yep. they were his best ones yep. weren't they? so yeah he took them and the girl's parents with him and went into her room and she certainly looked dead and her eyes were closed and she was pale and she wasn't breathing but that didn't stop Jesus. He took her hand and he said, little girl, little girl, it's time to get up. And her skin grew warm and her face got colour and her eyelids flickered and she was alive. Brilliant. And the first thing she said was, I am hungry. I'd say that as well. <laughs> I'd so, say that. In fact, I say that most mornings. Yeah, absolutely. And they said, well, you... Jesus said, well, you better get her something to eat. I wonder what she ate. I don't I know. What she ate. They wouldn't have had Weetabix. No, they wouldn't. Have. No, they? no Weetabix. No porridge. Probably fish or bread or something. Yeah, probably bread. Usually bread, the... yeah. Mm. That's, That's really, really lovely, isn't it? And, and it was Jesus' healing hands yeah. that he laid on the girl Absolutely, that, that, yeah. that made her wake up yeah. again. Oh, gosh, I bet their family, her family oh. would have been overjoyed. Absolutely. Overjoyed. From that devastation of losing a child to her, actually knowing that that child is all right and not just that but on the way there yeah absolutely he the woman as well yeah so she absolutely. didn't even 
have Jesus's hands. She just touched his cloak. Yep, absolutely. She? But he knew that somebody very ill was there. Mm. So I think there's something about Jesus knowing the situations as well. So it's a really, really lovely story. And we still believe that Jesus can heal. We yep. still believe in the power of prayer. prayer. We Next pray together. together. Yep. And that's really important. And I think sometimes just making a note of your prayers. Mm. We write them in our newsletters and we yeah. say them in church together. But actually, you know, when you're on your own, just remembering those names are really mm. important. And I think that's where these healing hands mm. can come in helpful. So should we maybe choose two names each and write them on our yep. on our that healing sounds, hands? Yep. Sounds a good idea. So let's just uh, let's just write our names. On and here. of course this is all about the fact that Christ really loves us. So I think in a minute we're going to sing a lovely song, aren't we? Let there be love shared among us. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pray for, um, oh I don't know, shall I I'll write here? I think I'm going to write here. I'm going to pray so for Kat. I've got a lady called Geraldine. And, and on my little finger I'm going to pray for... Sarah. Um, gosh, I can't remember his name now. Roy. Roy. I've got Kat and Sarah, and I've got Roy and Geraldine. So there you go. That's what we're. Uh, should we hold them up, Anne, so they can. Uh, there we are. So you can write the names anywhere, and then you know it said you can tick them when you've said the prayers, or you can say the prayer again and again. It's completely mm. up to you, and we'll do that in our prayers yeah. a little bit later. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So let there be love. Words to the song. I'm just going to get the words because. Well, I don't know why I'm bothering to get the words, because um, I always sing the wrong words anyway, don't I? Well, you do like your own versions. There is there is the original version, and there's a Helen version. Yeah. Don't expect me to get the words right today, but I'm going to have a go. Let there be love shared among us. That's the one. Let there be love in our eyes. Yeah. Let this love sweep this nation, cause us, O oh Lord, to arise. That's the one. See, Anne knows it. I don't. Right. There we are. So the words are there for me more than Anne, I think. <laughs> but I'll start us off, shall and I? You, you'll set the key better than I will. I do that bit, yeah. <laughs> That's about the only thing I do do better. <laughs> Let there be love shared among us. Let there be love in our eyes. May now your love sweep the nation. Cause us, O oh Lord, to arise. Give us a fresh understanding of family love that is real. Let there be love shared among us. Let there be love. Should we do that again? Yeah. You were going to anyway, oh, weren't you? Yes, yes. yes. I think, yeah. Anne likes this one. It was her choice today. <laughs> Shall we sing it again yeah. then? You might want to join in this time. The words are really easy. Lots of lots of songs about lots of words about love, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Let there be love shared among us. Let there be love in our eyes. May now your love sweep the nation. Cause us, O oh Lord. To arise, give us a fresh understanding of family love that is real. Let there be love shared among us. Let there be love. Because they do say as well, you know, if you know somebody needs that love, you have got to share it, haven't Absolutely. you? There's no point in just hanging on to it no. yourself. And no. that's what Jesus would have wanted us to do. Absolutely. To pray for people, but to share that love and to help them as well yeah. where we can. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so we go. time of prayer. prayer. Yes. So we're going to pray. We're mm -hmm. going to give thanks, first of all, for Jesus's healing hands and yep. for all that he's done for us. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to pray for the people that need our prayers. I'm just going to move Anne's pen slightly so I can see Sarah underneath. And then I'm just going to pray for all of us mm -hmm. that we too can receive Jesus's healing hands when we need them. Yes. So let us pray. Creator God, Creator God of our whole beautiful world, we give you thanks for Jesus's healing hands in our lives. We give thanks for all those people who have been healed by prayer. And we pray especially today for Geraldine and for Roy, for Kat and for Sarah. And we pray for all those names that will be on our healing hands over the coming weeks. 
And we thank you for listening to our prayers and for the healing that you have done in our own lives. And we end all our prayers with a nice big Amen. Amen. So next time then, Anne, we're doing another of um, Jesus's healings. He's yep. going to heal a blind man. Yeah. Okay. Now he heals the blind man with some spit and some mud. Yeah. Now I didn't think Anne would like that as a craft, but we are going to make some. Uh, we're going to make some things with clay next week and some tools. I thought yeah. that might be fun. That'd be good. Yeah. yeah. That, that sounds sort of good. Yeah. Mud and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we'll do that next time. So if you haven't got clay, it doesn't matter. You could use plasticine or even Play-Doh, really. You oh, could use Play anything. Love Play-Doh. Yeah. Still love Play-Doh. The smell of it. I, I know, love absolutely. the smell of Play-Doh. Mind you, plasticine always smells nice. Oh, well. okay. Yeah. Anyway, we better go. <laughs> yeah, we better we go. go. <laughs> anyway. We'll see, see you in a fortnight. We'll do. Bye, Bye. everybody.